Hello people, Jen and Police Matter here. Today I'm going to show you how to access the Nintendo eShop and play online if you are on 10.3 or lower without downgrading. Downgrading is probably the best option, but if you get errors like soft bricks and you don't want to format your console to fix that, this is what you are going to do. So, uh, I wrote this tutorial twice now on, on Reddit. This is the rewritten version that I wrote after 10.6 came out. So, uh, you basically have to follow this tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's easy. So, first of all, you're going to need an entry point. I'm just going... I'll go over it just so you can see it. So, load your entry point. You don't need to load it right away, but yeah. Just make sure you have uh, an entry point working. If you don't, you're screwed. So there you go, the homebrew launcher. Now you're going to need NASA. NASA is um, a CIA file installer for Nintendo 3DS. Um, it, it has a very high boot rate, or it used to anyway. Last night when I tried to do this, and I did it indeed, <laughs> it was painful. But anyway, you're going to need uh, NASA 1.2, you're going to need 3D NAS, and you're going to need an old, uh, uh, old 3DS, new 3DS, 2DS with firmware 10.3 or earlier. Uh, note that uh, people who are using lower than 9.6 are probably going to have issues because um, if you are using lower than 9.6 the new eShop app it seems that it won't work uh, I still don't have news on that but uh, you'll still be able to go online if you have the updates and yeah so first you're going to install NASA just download it connect plug your S 3ds SD card or transfer the files any way we want to just Transfer NASA over to your um, 3DS SD card and 3DS. There we go. As you see, this is my SD card, or it's not mine, but anyway, yeah. So you go over here and you drop NASA. I think this is an old version, so I'm going to delete it anyway. Download NASA. Uh, download. Wow, it changed the look since last time I tried it actually. Uh, 3DS Homebrew. God, it's different. <laughs> oh, NASA. And you can download. You can also use 1.3, I suppose. I don't see why you couldn't. You can use 1.2 to 1.3 or whatever. You can actually use 1.1 as well but just use any just use any of them it will work so there we go NASA it's the folder that you need just drag it there and close that once you have NASA you're going to need 3D NAS just extract it to some folder and you'll be good to go I'm going to delete those because, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, now you're going to open 3D NAS. Let's minimize it for now, and this as well. Open this page. You should follow the mm, tutorial, actually. So, open this page, and you'll see lots of updates. So, select the one, the, don't confuse the old 3DS with the new 3DS. That's really important. So the latest update is 10.6.031. So I'm going to click that, all 3DS, all good. Here you'll see E, P, J, etc. So E is USA, P is um, Europe. I don't know who gave those letters. If you see, this is Japanese. Yeah. So you're going to select the title list. I am an European user, so I'm going to use the European one. Anyway, now uh, you can you just uh, need the Enver. So Control F to find right. Go Enver 
and you should find Enver here. This is the title ID. You'll, you'll want to copy that. Also take note of the version, the latest version, 496. Just open 3DNAS, pass it there, and 496. Just download it. Done. Now, uh, let me just close that other instance, okay. Now, you're going to need the friend system module. So, friend, friend system module. It's not the safe mode one, it's the other one. So just go, copy the title, blah, blah, blah. Pass it there, and the latest version is 9216. Okay. Finally, you're going to need the eShop, as you see. Now, be careful about that, because there are two eShop apps. One that is the eShop, which is the one that you want, and there's the Mint eShop applet. You don't want that. You want the eShop. So, copy the title ID. So, 2482. 2482. Just download it. It'll take a little longer. It's slightly larger than the other ones. Uh, it's like 8 megabytes or something. So yeah, downloading second file. And yeah, so now you can close uh, 3DNAS. You'll want to... Uh, so check it, you have three files here. Copy them. And pass them somewhere on your 3DS. So you'll have three CIA fi files here. You can see that. Oh, too much. Okay. Three CIA files. You can now close it. And that's it. That's all you need to do on the SD card. Now we're going to boot your preferred entry point. Uh, hopefully this will load on first try. If it doesn't load on first try, just keep trying. It's still much better than FBI. And for some reason, on my 2DS at least, it doesn't work as well as it should if you're low on battery. So just do it when you're high on battery. Okay, so NASA. Just select NASA. And I'm actually using the 10.3 version, which I never used, my friends. Never used before. So, uh, if you get confused and you're not sure, just use 1.2, it will work, for sure. So, give me one second, it failed the first launch, so I'm going to try again. I'll be right back. Okay, so I ended up successfully launching NASA. And if I could turn off a flash, but I have no idea how to do that. Anyway, now, pay attention to this. Please, autofocus. Please. Okay. It out of focused. So these are my three CIA files. You want to disable security mode by clicking L. It should say in security mode off. Oh, they changed that actually. So uh, you have to now you have to hold uh, L and click the left button to disable uh, security mode. Anyway, now just pick this. You see it say it says install to SDMC. This would be the 8 megabyte app. Hold click R and it's going to switch to install to NAND. So click A and click A. This is the largest of all of the apps. It's the one that will take longer. But yeah, it's done. Now go over to the second one. Click R to uh, select install to... Actually, <laughs> I have a slight problem. Problem is that this 3DS, this specific 3DS, has, has its shoulder buttons broken, so it's kind of hard, you know? So yeah, you just click R to disable security mode. You don't hold any D-pad or anything. It's just that the button, buttons are broken. I forgot that. So yeah, install the second file. And now th the third file. Okay. 
Okay, let me just check it installed. Yeah, it worked. Anyway, now you want to power it off because at least the last time I tried, quitting the menu didn't quite work with NASA. It just hanged there, just like with FBI. And pretty much everything that uses memchunk hacks, as far as I tried. So yeah, give me just two seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, never mind, it's actually booted, and as you can see, it's booted, and I can go to system settings. If it worked correctly, it should say 10.3.0, in my case, 31E. What does this, does, what does this mean? It means that you've successfully uh, installed a Frankenfirmer and you have the latest Enver. Now, you should also be able to go online and you should be able to access the eShop through hands. So that was it guys, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.